Now we want to keep this real practical because I know some of you probably have had on your mind some of the events uh, from Orlando and what's been described as the largest mass shooting in American history. And I had students who would watch the news, as many people watch the news, they see it on the internet now, it, it's hard to miss it because it's the news outlets just, it's all over, it's, it's everywhere around you. And beyond just the news, people would tell me at times, you know, well, I'd say, what, have you seen this movie, that movie? Well, I, I can't watch that movie because it's a violent movie. You might say that violence in society, violence on the news, violence on movies, uh, you, we have different religions that are calling us to a life of peace and harmony, and yet, what do you do with the question of violence? And what I say to them is the ego belief system, any belief system that opposes oneness, opposes love, opposes God, the ego belief system is what is violent. And actually if you want to go even simpler than that, you could say that judgment is violent. And that's why Jesus gave us the Sermon on the Mount and I think probably the two most helpful words in all of history, out of the trillions and trillions of words, were judge not. Or if you want a few more, judge not lest you be judged. If you hold on to judgment in consciousness, you cannot escape from experiencing that judgment in consciousness and in the world that you perceive. So what A Course in Miracles is really doing is it's basically saying the only way you will experience true peace is to come to peace in your heart, peace in your mind, and come to a peaceful perception of the world. You might remember in the the Bible in Corinthians is you're looking through a darkened glass. Well, this egoic perception of fragmentation is violent, it's a darkened glass, and though we may see some things that we call pockets of goodness, our pockets of goodness in distorted perception are always broken into by violent, violent perceptions. You may be gliding along gliding along in, in a seeming peace and harmony, but when you feel your mind is shaken to the core, you find yourself hurting, mourning, sad, angry, disturbed, irritated, then that's just meaning the ego is still in play. It's still in play in your consciousness. So the purpose of A Course in Miracles is to try to convince your mind that out of all the problems of this world, which seem to appear on many different scales, in many different degrees, and in many different situations and directions, out of all those problems that you believe you have, the first thing that A Course in Miracles will do is help you come to the understanding and the recognition that you have a perceptual problem.